wrong album. <laughs> Yo, what's up? This is Jay Dennis with Talking New Metal. And today we're gonna to talk about. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but we're gonna talk about System of a Down's first album. It came out 20 years ago, June 30th, 2000, <laughs> 1998. And to this day, this album remains timeless. I got this, I'm 27 now, I got this back freshman year when I was 14, Christmas of 2005. That whole freshman year of mine in high school, I got, I got super into System of a Down. I uh, got the Toxicity album, and then Mesmerize, because Mesmerize had come out that summer, you know, BYOB and everything, and then Hypnotize came out that, that whatever you want to call it, winter, yeah, it's a season. I got that album and this one for Christmas, and of course, Steal This Album. Basically, all five of their albums were the soundtrack to the major part of my freshman year. But the CD design is the same as Toxicity, but it's got a more clean-cut look, whereas Toxicity looks more hand-drawn, but it's the exact same thing. Um, it's very creepy. Freaking golf clubs just moved when I said creepy. Um, very creepy booklet going on here. Other than that, it's just lyrics. But evidently, uh, Rick Rubin had a lot of faith in this band. But everybody else that went out and saw them, as much as they loved their live show, a lot of labels didn't want to pick them up because they thought they weren't going to go anywhere. Well, they missed out on a freaking huge opportunity. But everything happened the way it did. So, whatever. It doesn't matter. I haven't done a talk to new metal in a while. It's the first one in my new house. I'm in the basement right now where I do my podcast and where I jam out on my 10 watt amp. Um, I'm fully aware that this album is in drop C. I was playing in C sharp. All right. But that sick BYOB riff you heard at the beginning is in C sharp. My favorite tracks off this album, which if you didn't know what I was playing, I was playing this very beginning intro, the harmonic slides, which I didn't know what the fuck those were when I was 14. I was still relatively new at guitar. I was like, how do I do that? Is there some shredding higher up on the, you know, fifth and sixth strings? The higher strings? Sometimes people argue that the low string is the sixth string. I don't give a fuck. Um, I was playing Sweet Pea, the very intro, and then I was playing Sugar, you know? You know, that iconic riff. Sugar! Um, my favorite tracks off this album basically haven't changed since freshman year. Soil, track seven, track 10, Peephole, and track 13, the last track, Pluck. Politically lying on Holy Cowardly Killers. So, it's a very easy album to listen to from start to finish. It's like listening to like an old Green Day album. You know, it's a handful of tracks. They're all pretty short, all sound pretty similar, but they've all got their own identity on some level. Um, System of a Down, from the very beginning, had its own unique brand and sound and everything going about it, so... Even though Toxicity is technically their best album, this was an, ep an epic precursor or prelude to that. And it was three years before. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Is that supposed to be like a mechanical millipede or like a razor blade with some with some legs on it or something. Sorry if I'm 
super ignorant on this. I'm going to close off this video by reading something that I never realized was back here. So by the track listing, there's this long paragraph right here. I did not realize that this was a statement. As the century nears its formidable end, it's 1998, the century's about to end. As the century nears its formidable end, our global experience of universal proportions predicted by many greats will arrive at our solar system. To our system of a down. Authoritarian oppression, family abuse, depression caused by conformity, and economic devastation will be neutralized by technological terrorism in times of complete chaos. Control will never again be gained for toleration will become extinct. A husband quarreling with his wife will not think twice or regret his spent bullets. Hungry children will not spare the grocer. Remorse in all forms will be removed from human thoughts and actions. Freedom will only be available through revolution or death. The system of a down is unavoidable as life on this planet becomes unnecessary. The hand has five fingers, capable and powerful, with the ability to destroy as well as create. We had the power to stop and reverse the tides of time by making our awareness of abuse known to the powers of industry and their uncouth political arms. Only by raising this awareness and promotional personal peace within today's self-defeatist society can we allow the planet a chance to avoid self-destruction. Open your eyes, open your mouths, close your hands, and make a fist. That's what this whole album cover is about. I guess it came from a war movie like a war movie poster, and they just isolated the hand. But basically, a lot of what that statement means is the hand can destroy as well as it creates. So, we have the means. Like, there's a lot of messages in this album about genocide, Ar Armenian genocide, and a lot of other political stuff going on in here, too. But they're not purely a political band. They talk about all sorts of topics. But... Basically is don't let that self-defeatist life be empowered. Pay off your debt, man. Don't get into debt. This is Talking New Metal with Jay Dennis. Thank you for watching at this late hour that I recorded it. It's that weird hour of the night where I'm like hyper awake but also really sleepy at the same time. So we'll see how this video comes out.